Wavelink 3.0 is out and it is free. If you want to mix your audio, have ultimate control, then you need Wavelink 3.0. It is in beta, so there is some bugs on it, but this is the second release. So let's get started and check it out so you can have ultimate control of your audio. So first go to Elgato.com and just search for it here. It'll be right here, Elgato. And then go to the download section. And here we are, Wavelink. This is the current version right here, but we want to go to the test beta version. Scroll down a little bit and we're going to want to get the Wavelink 3.0 beta. So go ahead and download that. Just hit continue to download it'll start downloading for you here there it is all right while we're here in the elgato download section let's go back in this section here and while we're here if you don't have a stream deck or if you do have a stream deck go ahead and download the stream deck software also it is free and we're going to use the free phone app if you don't have a stream deck if you do have a stream deck then you probably already have that, the software all right let's get it installed so you can just click on the button here it's downloaded here wavelength i've already reinstalled and uninstalled it so i'm just going to hit reinstall yours would say install so it's already installed it's up and running let's go ahead and launch it and then you should get this installation page go ahead and hit next set next next install all right, so the setup is complete. Go ahead and hit finish. When you open Wavelink, it's going to look something like this. It may not say default mix here. Uh, it'll say something though. This is our, our mix up the top and then our channels down below. These channels here are going to be all of our input sources, things that make sounds, microphones, apps, game audio, you name it. If it makes sounds, this is where these, these, these are going to go. And across the top is going to be our mixes. So let's go ahead and just add all the mixes now. And that way we're set up with all that. So just go ahead and hit the plus, plus, plus plus so do it five times so or four times so you'll have all of them across the top these won't be named like like this they'll have the the default names and then we're going to rename these i call this first one meld obs mix so whether you're using meld or whether you're using obs this is where all the audio for that will be going you can click the three dots pick some icons for it I'll just use the OBS icon for this one. Close that. The next one, it will say stream mix on yours. You're going to change this to TikTok mix and change the icon to TikTok. Close that one. Next one's going to be, it's going to say record mix for you. We're going to change this to my mix. Change the icon, the smiley face. Close that. This default mix. I'm not sure what it will say for you. I've changed this a couple of times. This one we're going to call mic mix. You can name these however you like. This is just the way I have it set up. And I just use the crown icon for this. Close that. We'll have mic mix, meld OBS mix, TikTok mix, my mix, and this this last one here. It's going to say aux mix for you, and we'll change that to vod mix. And we'll change this to, let's just pick this icon. That'll be our VOD mix. The VOD mix is going to be separated audio for music or Twitch and places that allow VOD mix tracks. Across the top, these are all of our outputs. These send the audio somewhere. We have the, the mic mix, OBS meld mix, TikTok mix, my mix. This is what we're, this is what we're going to hear. And then the VOD mix channel, if you're using VODs. Okay. All right. Now we need to create our channels and you can see we don't have anything on here. Nothing's coming in. Nothing available so I do have a wave neo mic and so we're going to plug that in the wave neo mic popped up it does say it's unavailable we might have to restart the app see if that works and when we restart the app these should automatically get added to windows go ahead and do that just close it and you want to come down here to the little carrot and then actually exit out of wavelength and then just reopen okay so now it recognized the neo and you can see the meters moving however it's not going anywhere it's just in the system not doing anything we'll come over back to our mixes and you can see it here it is the meters are moving because i'm talking but we can go ahead and just mute that for now just so we're not confused and then we're going to add the rest of our channels so if you have another microphone let's say a headset microphone or a different microphone we're going to want to add that so i'm going to add the five fine microphone which i'm on now and you can see the meters are moving on it as i'm talking then we're going to add audio sources so in this case you do want Want to, if you don't see them here, then you're going to want to open that source and play something. That's kind of how it recognizes that there's audio coming in that it needs to put it somewhere. So in this case, Firefox is showing up. We're going to go here and just play something. Take this one. We'll pause that. We'll open Chrome, go to YouTube again, and just play something. Play something that has music or that has audio. 
pause it, go back to Wavelength, open this up, and now we have both. This is going to be our media channel or our music channel. You can separate these out further, but if you have a lot of inputs, you may, may need to pare them down because the maximum channels is nine. Maximum outputs is five. Let's go ahead and add the Firefox browser channel. And then when we go here, we're going to change this. We're going to change this to just media. I'm going to put all the media in one spot. Chances are you aren't going to be playing multiple medias at the same time, but you can close that. Uh, we're going to, we're going to change this icon to the music icon. Close that. And then let's go ahead and just add the rest of the players that we might want. So we'll add Chrome to that list. We'll add YouTube music to that list. If you don't see them in that list, then you need to open the app, play something on it. Make sure you see it playing and then it should show up. So we'll try that with Spotify, let it open. Just pick anything, play it, minimize that, open this. And there it is, Spotify. Okay, and you see it's playing. All right, let's close. Let's go ahead and open VLC. We want to play something that has audio and then open our app and then VLC's here. We want to do the same thing with Windows Media Player. Thanks for subbing on the YT. Audio. There we go. Open the app and then Windows Media Player should show up. Close that. Now we have all media coming through this media channel. Firefox, Chrome, YouTube, Spotify, VLC, and Windows Media Player. That's how we want that. You can separate those out if you want, but you may run out of channels. So let's add some more channels. For our next channel, we're going to add the game audio. And once again, something has to be playing for it to actually show up. Kind of strange that way, but that's just how it works. So in this case, we're going to open Steam, go to the library, and you can just open a game. So let it open, go back to your wavelength, create a channel, and then now you're going to see the game in here. We're going to add that. And then, of course, we're going to add Fortnite under Epic Games. We need to launch it. And once it's loaded, go back to Wavelink, find it in the add app under our game section and add that. Close that. And we're going to change the icon just like we did before with the pencil, three dots. And we're going to change this to the game icon. Close that. And then we're going to rename this as channel, game channel. Close that. So now we have our Elgato microphone, our secondary microphone, our media, and our game channel. Media is going to be music channels and browsers that you might be playing music on or, or showing videos on. And our game channel obviously is the games. So at this point, we're we're pretty much set up. These boxes in here are how we're going to activate the uh, channels. Why do we have these two separate mixes here? These are our, our stream mixes, and we want to separate audio. So if you have Tickfinity and you want those sounds to just go to your TikTok mix, then we're going to add a channel for that. Once again, we need to open Tickfinity and go to sounds, anything that plays a sound. So we can do the GIF sound or TTS. Play. This is a test. I'm back, create a channel, and now we see it, Tickfinity. We're gonna add that, all right? Now, OB the OBS meld mix, that's gonna be for YouTube, Twitch, any other platforms that aren't TikTok, basically. Open speaker run. It's primarily used for text-to-speech. You need to go to settings. Voice aliases. I already have all this set up. And then go to test the speaker. This is a test message. And close that. Create a channel. And then we should see it now here. Speaker bot. Okay, this is why we have two separate channels. So we're going to have our sounds coming from TikVinny, our sounds coming from speaker bot, and we'll add streamer bot as well. We'll I just add that just like we did all the other ones. On this one, we're going to click on the pencil, change this to streamer speak. That's for streamer bot and speaker bot to change the icon sfx and close that now let's go for discord and you can put any communication software that you may be using zoom teams this is where all this would go just make sure discord is open got a new device we'll, we'll fix those later create the channel and we have it here and then on my other machine this actually put in a discord icon for some reason this one doesn't it's okay it does say discord which is fine and that's the only communication i use on this pc so i'm just going to leave it as discord you can pick an icon for that. And we'll just go voice chat on that and close that. Now, if you want to have a VR or other microphones, you'd want to pick those off the list. So if you're going to have virtual desktop or use the Meta app or use Steam Link, they will all come in here. Let's just use virtual desktop, add that. And then we're going to bring this up to where our other microphones are. And now while we're here, we're going to go ahead and activate these sources. So now we have all three microphones going out the mic mix. Final last channel that we're going to add is voice mod. So if you use voice mod, this is going to be what, how you're going to add this so that it works correctly. You can use the free version, but some of the voices and sounds are limited. So if you have the paid version, I have the lifetime paid. I got it a long time ago. Right now we have it set up already as our mic in. Yours will not say this. It'll be under something else. Okay. So this one, we want to change this to our mic mix down here, mic mix. 
Okay, now the meters are working. Mic mix is going here. And this headphone mix, we want to change this to our... Oh, we may not have added the channel yet. Okay, let's go back to that. It's going to be our last channel here. Create another channel. And let's try just something else to see if it'll make the channel for us. So let's just try this NVIDIA broadcast for now. We're going to rename this. Let's just do VM SFX. Because all we want to hear from voice mod is our sound effects. And the other voices go, go out to a stream somewhere. We'll just let's try this VM SFX. All right, close. We're going we're gonna to do this with a voice icon or we could pick the sfx icon close this let's delete that nvidia broadcast one so it should have nothing coming into it and it should say vm sfx and close the one still not changing it over here so this might be a little bug let's restart this though to see if it takes all right there we go vm sfx let's go to voice mod now we should have this vm there we go so now our vm sfx channel is there so what we want this for is this sends the effects out to our audio mix without having any voice changing on it if you turn the voice changer on you will hear this so if you turn this on now that's going through this this system here and it's very weird you won't be able to talk right so you won't you don't want to hear yourself with the voice changer on but you do want to hear the sound effects and that's what this is for okay so now everything should be working so now we're going to add our out our audio to the outputs that go this way for all sounds so in this case we're going to take our meld obs mix and we want the game audio to go there we want the speaker and streamer bot audio to go same thing with the tiktok mix game audio goes there and our tickfinity audio goes discord chat you can as a personal preference here here, but you wanted to come on your mix and then if you are streaming and you want to have your viewers hear the discord chat and you can go ahead and activate these so that they'll be able to hear that our music our media source you can send it directly to obs and tiktok but this is why we set up this vod mix so we're going to add the vod mix there and we also want to hear that so that'll be on the mic mix or the my mix not mic mix so the mic mix is going to come down here and our mic mix is going through here and to show that we'll have to pull up voice mod and minimize it so you can see it all right so we should be able to see this if you hit the effects should show up in our vm sfx channel which it is and that's good so we're going to go ahead and minimize that so that we can hear it we want to put it on the my mix now if you play the audio from voice mod you should see it on the meter coming into the channel and on the meter going out to the my mix how to use these mixes so in obs or meld all you need to do is just add this as your audio same thing on tiktok add the tiktok mix to your tiktok studio my mix will be your mix that you hear and then we can also select the outputs outputs are going to be how we're going to hear these so let's gonna we're going to do headphones and then we're going to do our speakers and we can turn these off independently but depending on what device you're using if you want to listen to the to your audio on headphones the headphones will be playing same thing with the speakers but you just you typically wouldn't want to have both at the same time so you're going to want to mute one but all you'll hear it is on the speakers you're listening to all right so now to wrap up and to troubleshoot any problems there's one more final Final piece of the puzzle and before we forget i need to turn on the game audio to the my mix output so now we want to go down here to the speaker icon open that open sound settings and then just you want to pick your primary output device your speakers or you can use your headphones depending on which one you use more often i just pick the speakers and then also on your input device you want to pick your primary output so if you are your, are your primary microphone so in this case i'll be using the voice mod or if you aren't using voice mod, you'd want to pick the mic mix. So the mic mix will be set to default in this case, or you can pick the voice mod, depending on if you're using voice mod for your default microphones. You should be all set. However, if you do run into some problems, a couple places you want to go down to your speaker, right mouse click, open the volume mixer, and then it'll show your devices and where the sound is, is coming in from. And it may not have taken the change you made. So we can just check the discord one. And this one says output is going to the discord, but the input is going to default which now the default is set correctly so that should be correct i'm not sure why there's two of them up here but this is where if there's a problem you want to click on this and then pick the one you're actually
actually using the mic mix or your voice mod mic. And then you can select any of these other ones if you're on having some audio problems. And then one more thing, if that still doesn't work, which sometimes it doesn't, you can go into the application itself and go to your voice and audio and see where it's set at and then change that there. So now we're on the voice mod or if you wanted to pick, you want to show more and then it's going to show your other ones and you would go to my mic mix if you aren't using voice mod and that's it. If you learned anything or got any value out of this, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you also want any more detailed information about the next steps in this process, put those in the comments. We'll see you next time.